Hello and welcome back to the Sports News. Right now, I am joined by my friends from Sauk Prairie Soccer. I have Trevor Van Lannen, the head coach, Eric Kramer, and Ariel Lopez. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us here today. Thanks for having us. Uh, Trevor, I want to start with you. What is your history with coaching? Where have you been at before, and how did your journey bring you to Sauk Prairie? Well, back in uh, August, uh, I secured a, a second grade teaching position with the Sauk Prairie School District, and so that allowed me the opportunity to move to Madison. And uh, recently, the uh, head coach, he was uh, expecting a new child, so he uh, resigned from his position, and I was able to come in and, and take that job over. Um, I spent two years at, at Racine Case High School coaching boys soccer there and really made a good turnaround there and that led me to Ashwaubenon where I coached the girls for one year and, uh, and now my journey to uh, Sauk Prairie where I look to continue on some of the recent success I've had as a coach. And as you look to continue that success, do you have any goals looking forward that you'd like to accomplish at Sauk Prairie, maybe if not this season but in the next few years as well? Well, I think my number one goal as a coach is always to try to take my athletes and make them uh, role models for not only their community, but for their peers and for the youth. And then as my, uh, the second job as coach, uh, I look to try to prepare these athletes to play at the next level, whether that's D3 or Division I, uh, and to do my best to make sure they're ready for that success. Uh, Ariel, with that, uh, what does it mean to you to be a student athlete at Sauk to be a part of that soccer program and, and be a student at the school? Um, looking back at it now, it's, it's something that I really cherish. Um, the moments I spent with my teammates and with my coaches, the bonding, the memories, I'm, I'm never going to forget that. I really enjoy everything that's come out of it. I've built some friendships through my teammates um, that I will probably be friends with for the rest of my life and I won't forget about. And with that, do you have any plans to play soccer beyond high school, whether it be at college or just a club team, something like that? Um, as of right now, I am on a club team for the spring with a lot of the my current team mates, and as well as I could potentially play in the fall for UW Baraboo. Congratulations, very nice. We'll have UW Baraboo on later today. Uh, how does the team support the community? Uh, we use uh, uh, a lot of youth programs to help uh, get our name out and to, and to show our our soccer support. So one of the ways we do that is throughout the year we have a, a youth night where we bring in a, a soccer team and they come and they walk out to midfield, they get their names read at a varsity game and just to give them that experience and build relationships with the varsity athletes. We also plan on holding a, a youth soccer camp where the, the varsity athletes would be the trainers for a clinic uh, one night throughout our, our season. All right, very quickly understand you guys have one big event coming up. Can you tell us a bit about that quickly? Yeah, and uh, we, in June we have the uh, Carleen's Walk, it's on June 28th, and it's a, a cancer research fund, and we uh, plan on having the soccer program, we'll be there supporting uh, that program and volunteering and trying to get the, the word out for that as well. Very nice. Uh, the Sauk Prairie soccer team, Trevor Van Lennon, Eric Kramer, and Ariel Lopez. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us here today. Thank you, thanks for having us. We'll be right back with more of the sports news after this.